what actually, what actually is stopping you from getting your health to the point where you desire it to be? Some of the times we think about this and we ignore the obvious. We ignore that it is us stopping us. We put all sorts of excuses in the way that I haven't got time for it, it's too expensive, my wife doesn't want me to do it. All these different things, I'm not strong enough, gym's too far away, there's no need for it right now. What is stopping you? Stopping you from getting them excuses and just smacking them in the face? Well, let me tell you, it is you stopping yourself. Sometimes we'll see something on social media and we'll be triggered and think, no, well, that could be me, but nah. That person got it easy because they don't need to watch what they eat. They don't need to watch what their stress levels are. They don't need to watch how much they move. It's just natural, it's genetics. Let me tell you, genetics is just a minimal part. Work and doing the work is another massive part which takes nine times, well, nine tenths of the effort. But you stop yourself from doing the work because you're scared. That's the truth. And honestly, I was scared too. I had to kind of sum up what would happen. I've told you about how I got really out of shape for my wedding and I was using it as an excuse using it as an excuse that I couldn't get accountable because I couldn't afford it, I was planning a wedding. I couldn't put in the time and effort with my nutrition because I was planning a wedding. And then I had to look, look deep in and be honest with myself. There were certain things that I needed to keep in check. Given my role as a professional in the health industry, as a professional working with the leading entrepreneurs all around the world with my online coaching, it was my responsibility. And what was actually happening with me being out of shape? Because I wasn't prepared to do the work. Well, for starters, every time I walked past the mirror, I thought I was a fraud. I would look at myself and think, shit, why would anyone invest in me? And that doesn't just go with the health side of things. When your pride is knocked, it reflects to everyone around you in your business, whether that's a client or whether that's an employee. Your pride goes down. And as a result, your wealth attraction goes down. Your status, my status definitely went down because I wasn't confident in who I was. Calling myself a fraud behind closed doors, well, that was a hard reality check. After losing that respect that others gave me for being that guy that was in amazing shape all year round, they didn't tell me to my face, but their respect dropped. They didn't want to be associated with me as much. It's kind of crazy. People will talk amazing things to your face but they don't want to be associated with you and then you lose the security lose the security knowing you're going to get another client this week you're going to get another client today tomorrow the next day and you're going to keep these clients because you've not got the approval of yourself when you are in shape when you get in shape and you feel good, you feel great, you feel the energy, you feel focused, you have the approval from the one person that matters, yourself. So you start building up that self-improvement, one step in front of the other. Now the problem here is that most entrepreneurs like to achieve amazing things. And they set amazing goals. Like, I want to drop 40 pounds. Cool, we can get you to drop 40 pounds. But let's focus on these small goals to get us there. Not just the overall goal. Because that happens, you get overwhelmed. You get massively overwhelmed. And then you stall. Then you procrastinate. 
then you get scared, then you think you can't do it, and that self-improvement stops. You start you start to lose that respect again that you've just built up because you've hired a coach, you've hired a trainer. You've hired the person that's gonna keep you accountable. But that person hasn't allowed you to get a map to your goals the right way. Yeah, I could go from New York to LA. It's gonna take a hell of a long time, but maybe we should stop off at some hotels or some motels along the route. Maybe we should have a goal for every single day. Maybe we should map that out along the way. And those trainers didn't get that. So you've lost that self-respect. You've lost that approval. And what happened with me, with my relationship, your wedding night, your wedding day should be a massive occasion. And great, I loved it. But as a result, from me not respecting myself, from me not giving myself the approval, from me not seeing my own status, the intimacy with my wife went down because I was out of shape. I wasn't confident in myself, so I lost the intimacy in the relationship with myself and my wife. That was not easy to take. What happened then? Well, that went and impacted my wealth with my business and every single thing falling forward from there. It's a pretty harsh reality because I'd put on a lot of weight, lost that self-respect, I had to admit that to myself. I had to find my purpose and how great I am at working with entrepreneurs online. I had to build each one of these steps up again. I had to get that approval, that status, that self-respect. I had to build up my purpose. I had to build up the intimacy from square one. I had to learn to love myself. Because no matter how successful you are in business, you can always, you can always be more successful if you're healthier, if you know what your purpose is, and if you know, when you look in that mirror, you can love every single part of yourself. It's a harsh reality to take. But if you're not healthy, are you ever going to be wealthy? The answer to that, only you can answer.